I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand how to write equation of a logarithmic function from the given graph. So we will start with a very simple basic graph so that we understand the whole idea about it and then we will explore more about it. So I will start with one simple function and then we will kind of transform function and then write another equation. So we will discuss two different graphs in this particular video. Let us say one of the graph is kind of like this. That's the logarithmic function. You can see that the domain is restricted. So therefore, it represents a logarithmic function. Sometimes I find students getting confused between logarithmic and exponential functions. In exponential functions, domain is not restricted. Okay, let me draw another transform function here. And let's say kind of like this. We'll write equations for both these graphs in this particular video. So let's begin with the very first one and let us say that the equation of this graph is log to the base a of x. Correct. Now here this is x for us and this is y for us. So we say y equals to log to the base a of x. Now from the given graph and let me write this point as 1 for simplicity. Uh, and we will say that we have a vertical asymptote at x equals to 0. So, x equals to 0 is vertical asymptote for us. So, that becomes logarithmic function. Now, what are the possible values of a? If I just give you a graph like this without any other point. So, now my question is, what are the possible values of a? Now, in this kind of a graph, we can say that a could have any value which is greater than 1, right? So in this case, I can say, well, for such a graph, a should be greater than 1, since it is always increasing, okay? Now, if I specify a point on the graph, then we can actually find the equation of that particular graph, right? So let us say we define a point here on the graph, and we say the coordinate points for this particular given point is 9, 2. Now my question is, what is the equation of this graph which has a point 9, 2 and x intercept is at 1? Can you find that out? Now once we know a point, in that case we can actually find exactly which value of a, which is of course greater than 1, will have a graph which will pass through this point 9, 2. 9, 2 means for x value of 9, y value is 2. So let me substitute 2 for y equals to log a of x value is 9, correct? So we get an equation kind of like this. This can be solved as a square is equals to 9, right? So that's the way to evaluate. So a square, a is the base, we are converting it into exponential form. a square equals to 9, and I can write 9 as 3 square. Now, comparing these two, I can say a is equals to 3, correct? And therefore, I can say the function which I have drawn here is a logarithmic function whose equation should be y equals to log to the base 3 of x. And this will pass through the point 9, Two, right? So that is how you can get equation of a logarithmic function, right? So this is a very simple basic example, but it gives you an idea of how to go about and find the equation of a logarithmic function from the given graph, correct? Let's take another example. This time what I'm doing is that I'm kind of transforming the function. You have seen that the x-intercept is not on the right side of y axis but on the left right so let us say we have a vertical asymptote here it's a logarithmic function it will always have a restricted domain right so there will always be a vertical asymptote for a logarithmic function and now let us say this is at minus 3 that is to say x equals to minus 3 is a vertical asymptote for this particular graph and let me say that this point here is at minus 2 okay so now if I have this kind of a situation, what is the equation of the graph? Let me take one more point so that I can specifically say what exactly should this graph be. 
representing, right? So which logarithmic function does this graph represent? So these are different ways when I can ask the same question, right? So that is now my final graph, x-axis. x-intercept is at minus 2. Vertical asymptote is minus 3. And a point, 1, 1, is on the graph. Now, you can pause the video, answer the question. That is, we are looking for equation of this logarithmic function, which should be of the form of log of a x minus p, right? Where p is the horizontal shift. We are assuming that there is no vertical stretch or compression. How do you find this particular equation? Now, the idea here is, since the vertical asymptote has moved 3 units left, that means we can now say that P is equals to minus 3. So, since it has moved 3 units to the left, we will say P is equals to minus 3. That is one thing. Second, the x-intercept is still one unit away, right? So it is still one unit away. So this is not multiplied or horizontally it is not stretched or compressed, correct? So, so one unit away means this difference is 1. In that case, we will get the value of logarithmic function as 0. So that is the x-intercept. So that is okay. Now, to find the value of a, so that means now I could write this function as y equals to log to the base a of x plus 3, right? I am taking this horizontal translation of 3 units to the left into consideration from the vertical asymptote given to us. Now to find the value of a, which is the only unknown left for us, we can use the given point 1, 1. So it really means that I have to substitute 1 for y. This is x, of course, and that is y. So we get 1 equals to log to the base a of 1 plus 3, right? So solving this, we get this as 1 equals to log to the base a of 4, right? So of course, a should be 4. Only then you'll get 1 as your result. So that implies a equals to 4, right? You could also solve it like saying a to the power of 1. So let me give you an alternate way of solving the same thing on the left side. We could also say when I have, let me use another thing, when I have 1 equals to log to the base a of 4, I could write a to the power of 1 equals to 4 or a equals to 4. Perfect. So that is another way of solving it. Both gives us the same answer. And the answer for us is y equals to log to the base 4, right, of x plus 3. So that becomes the equation of this particular logarithmic function. I hope with this simple example, you can now write down equations from the given graphs. So we'll have some more graphs for you to practice. Please share your comments and the video with your friends. Thank you and all the best.